Hey NBA 2K fans, in this video I'm going to walk you through how draft picks work in NBA 2K, my league and my GM, so that if you want to trade picks or swap picks, you'll know how all the rules in NBA 2K work and how they affect your picks. If you're new to the channel, I am Coach 2K. While you're here, click that subscribe button, click the bell to get notified whenever I upload anything new so you don't miss a single episode. And while you're here, check out my NBA 2K My League series. I'll put a link up in the corner to my fictional My League series so you can watch from the very first episode. All right, so let's get into how draft picks work in NBA 2K. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to be able to view picks, and you do that in the front office of your MyGM or My League file. And you can see inside there, there's an option to view picks. And when you choose this, you can view the picks for every team in the league, starting with the team that you are controlling at the time. And you can see here the Pacers, these are all the picks the Pacers have. First round, second round, and so on. But if I switch, switch over to the Nuggets, you see they've got some protection statuses there. Swap best, protection backup, swap worst with Nuggets. And those are the kind of things that I'm going to go over in this video and kind of tell you how they work. But anyway, this is where you find the picks is in the front office under view picks. So let's talk about the actual picks and how uh, they work. Okay, so I'm controlling the Pacers here. Let's say I want to trade away a pick. So under the picks I could trade, these are all the picks that the Pacers have. I could decide to trade any of these if I wanted. I have like a first and second rounder, this 2019, first and second rounder 2020, and so on down the list. If I want to trade away my first round pick, what I can decide to do is to trade it under a certain set of restrictions if I wanted to, and they're listed right here. So these options come up when you pick a when you offer uh, to trade a pick away. And so these are the main things that I want to go over in this video to kind of explain to you how these work. Now the first option is an unprotected pick. And what an unprotected pick means is, is that once I trade that pick away, the other team gets it. Regardless of how I finish in the regular season, I don't get that pick back. And they get to pick where I would have finished just like I still had to pick, but instead of us picking, that team gets to pick and they get a they get a pick whoever they want. So if I finish with the number one pick, then they would end up getting the number one pick in the draft because that was my pick originally, but I traded it away. So an unprotected pick means that you don't get anything uh, if you happen to finish worse than you expected that you would. And so that's the first option as far as pick protection is concerned. These next four options are protections that you can put on a pick that you trade away. So they're top three protected, top five protected, top 10 protected, and lottery protected. So what these means is if I trade this pick away and then for some reason I end up in the top three or the top five or the top 10 or lottery protected, whichever one I put on there, then I would get that pick back if I met the conditions of the protection. So for example, let's say that I traded this pick away and it's lottery protected and I traded it to the Warriors. And then we went through the season and at the end of the season, I ended up with one of the 14 worst records in the league. I was put in the draft lottery and lo and behold, we got the first pick in the draft. Then because that was a lottery protected pick, the Warriors would have to give that pick back to me and then I would be able to draft number one in the draft because I protected that pick if for some reason I ended up being in the draft lottery. So what that means is, is that the Warriors got nothing out of that me trading that draft pick to them. However, in NBA 2K, the way it works is, is that if they have to give that pick back to me because I did get in the lottery and it was lottery protected, then they're gonna get my pick in the next year's draft unprotected. And so they don't end up with nothing. They just have to wait a year to use their pick and they can use it wherever it might end up. It's not protected in any way. So let me show you how this shows up in NBA 2K so you can see how this uh, shows up in the game. In the real world, the Nets acquired the Nuggets 2019 first round draft pick. 
However, it's top 10 protected. And what that means is, is if the Nuggets get one of the top 10 picks in the draft, then uh, the Nets don't get the pick and the Nuggets get to keep it. So that means the Nets are out of luck. However, because it's a protected pick, then what the Nuggets have to do if they finished in the top 10 is they have to give the 2020 pick unprotected. So if I look at the Nuggets screen here, you'll see in 2020 it says first round protection backup. And that's the pick that would go to the Nets if for some reason the Nuggets finished in the top 10 in the file and they got that pick back, they'd have to give that 2020 first round pick to the Nets and it'd be unprotected. They could use it wherever it lands. And so that's how pick protection works and how the protection backup works in NBA 2K. These last two options here are swap best and swap worst. And what this means is, is if I trade this pick to another team, then I'll swap positions with them in the draft, depending on who has the best or worst pick. So in order to get the better pick of the two, you'd want to swap worst, and that means you get the best pick. If you swap best, that means you'll get the worst pick between the two positions. So if I trade with the Warriors again, and they pick uh, 12th in the draft, and I pick 18th in the draft, and I swap worst, then I would get the 12th pick because it's the better pick of the two. I swapped away my worst and I got the best back. So that's what the difference between swap best and swap worst is. Just remember, if you swap worst, you get the better pick. Here's what this is gonna look like in the file. You notice that the Pelicans, the 2021 second round draft pick, says swap worst with Pelicans. And then the Bulls are the origin there. So if I go over to the Bulls, you'll see over here in the Bulls draft picks, it says swap best with Bulls, Pelicans. So what this means is, is that in the case of the Pelicans and the Bulls, the second round pick in the 2021 20, draft, whoever ends up with the higher pick in that particular round, then what's gonna happen is, is that if the Bulls pick before the Pelicans in the second round, the Pelicans are gonna get that higher pick in the second round. So that's what the swap worst and swap best, what it means and what it looks like in the file. Now it's kind of hard here to kind of follow some of these in the file because some of these picks get traded around Swap best, swap, swap worst gets kind of hard to figure out who has what. So it's a little hard to follow, but just remember if you're trading a pick away and you put swap worst, you'll get the better pick with that team for that particular round. So just to clarify, both teams would still pick, they just swap positions. And so if the Bulls pick was higher than the Pelicans, then the Pelicans would switch places with the Bulls and they'd pick where the Bulls did. and. The, Bulls would pick where the Pelicans did. Now, those were first round picks. Keep in mind that when you trade second round picks, there is no lottery and you can't do top five, top 10, those kind of things. With a second round pick, it can only be unprotected or swap best and swap worst. So those pick protections only apply to first round picks except for the best or worst pick scenarios. Okay, so that's how pick protection works in NBA 2K. Doesn't match up with real life exactly, but it gives you kind of a similar type of structure of how you can protect picks if you trade them. And so that's kind of how all of those options work. So I hope that helps you out. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions about any of these items or about any other NBA 2K related thing. And while you're here, be sure and follow my My League series. I'll put a link up in the corner to my fictional My League series at the very beginning. That way you can be sure and catch that while you're here. All right, I'm Coach 2K. I'll see you on the court in the next video. Thanks for watching.